It is October the 22nd and it is our second to last day here in Japan before we head back to New Zealand and it was quite cold last night but it's definitely warmed up a bit today and yeah the ocean looks incredible you can see the dragonflies are in full swing um, apparently they just come out in autumn and they are everywhere so there was a bit of a storm in the past couple of days and looks like there's still a few waves um, and not too many fishermen out today so well under the uh, shade it's definitely cooler than you'd expect really feels like it's um, getting a bit cool and heading towards winter So it is spring in New Zealand and it's probably the same temperature as Japan, um, about uh, 20 degrees or so, however it is opposite seasons, northern and southern hemisphere. Um, so we came pretty much at the start of um, New Zealand spring and the start of Japanese autumn. So. Yeah, it was a good um, time to come to Japan. Um, I think the best seasons are either spring or autumn. Um, spring for the sakura um, blossoming and autumn for the, you know, trees changing color. And both seasons aren't too hot, aren't too cold. Um, whereas in New Zealand, well, where I live in Auckland, I would say summer is the only good season to visit and South Island winter would be ideal if you're looking to ski or snowboard however summer is also beautiful down there in Queenstown and Wanaka and yeah kind of packing and wrapping up our holiday back to reality um, back to work the next day we touch down so yeah a bit sad however um, can't be on holiday forever um, so yeah once again this is Dorsokohama um, we're on the west coast and you'd call this Inaka which is a very rural place um, it's quite interesting on these um, coastlines, uh, a lot of people still have veggie gardens right next to the ocean. Um, I guess the vegetables they grow in the soil they're grown in must not get affected. Uh, quite interesting. quiet today and I will just show you guys an example of one of the veggie gardens that are quite off the main roads um, you can't really access it by car I'm quite interested to know what type of, you know, law there is regarding the purchasing of these um, properties. As you, I assume you cannot build a home, as you cannot access by car, but maybe you can. Um, like 
this one for example. Yeah, this is the only access point to this plot of land. And I guess uh, that's part of it too. So we stayed for three and a half weeks in Japan. It has been just over three weeks. And obviously, as you'd expect, it went quite fast, but um, we were quite busy every day. And yeah, we're planning to come back hopefully next year. Maybe at the same time. September, October. Um, however, coming back in winter would be incredible because um, Joitsu, well, in Niigata in general, there is a bunch of ski fields and the powder is incredible. So this is actually a footpath itself. Um, I think the road access point is to the left. And we're going to visit this temple. So I learned the difference between the two types of temples, and maybe there's more types of temples. This is a, called a terra, so it will be um, part of a cemetery. And then there is a, another temple type called a jinja. So that is um, more of your common um, Buddhist or Shintoism type of um, temple, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, you can see one of the memorials there. I did ask if it's... Um, Find to film in the temple um, area seems okay, but you know, don't want to be disrespectful for other people's cultures. And it is looking absolutely incredible with the leaves dropping to the ground. So thank you for watching once again and I hope you guys have a lovely day.